Yeah, it seems it seems like a policy that a lot of people think is quite sensible. Yeah, but, yeah, but lots the, of people do. But, but, but the Green State seems to be pushing it so much. Why, why is that? I think we, we, we certainly put it out there. I don't think there's anyone in the country that doesn't know that we believe in decriminalising marijuana. Okay. What's happened is that people have stopped attacking us over it because I think people realise that it's actually a reasonable, it's a reasonable policy. But I don't know that having Don Brash doing that is much help. Okay. What about, so what about yourself, putting forward a private member's bill or something? What, would you consider that? I put forward a lot of private member's bill. I have to say that cannabis wouldn't be my top of the rank. You know, it's an important issue, but it's not as fundamental as some of the other issues for me. Yeah. I mean, it's a justice issue for me. I really do believe Māori are discriminated against in terms of the way that... I don't, I don't think our law is working, and I think it's unjust, and I think it's a bad law on cannabis, but it's not my primary passion. So no Greens will put it forward, is no, it? No, I wouldn't say that. I mean, Materia has done the medicinal cannabis bill, and she's yeah. fought very passionately on the issue, and okay. I don't think no Greens will do it. I'm just okay. saying, for me, right. I've got a long list of well, stuff yep. which I've got to get through, okay, from what women about... to, can to, to illegal yeah. logging, to the, so what about other drugs? Um, is it just marijuana or should other ones be legalised? Well, I mean, the green stronger? policy is harm reduction, so yeah. we don't necessarily decide whether it should be legal or not. Okay. We talk about a harm reduction approach. But what's your personal My opinion? My personal pe opinion is that, that making things illegal doesn't necessarily fix problems, and I'd rather see it as a health issue than a crime. Right. Most, you know, drugs... And I grew up in the 70s, and I saw, I, I saw the casualties. Right. And I actually do think it's a serious health issue, and that making it a, 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 a huge issue is a, is a problem. I mean, while we're making illegal is a problem, but while we're... Um, while we make people into criminals, what we do is we create the black market, okay. and so we cannot deal with the so, real issues. So cocaine or whatever maybe is a bad thing and you'd advise against it, but you don't want it necessarily to be illegal? Yeah, I mean, the Greens' position is not that. Mm. So if you're asking me, I, I yeah, have to be very opinion. clear yeah, that yeah. my personal view is I don't think making it illegal actually solves the problem. Okay. Just, there's a huge cocaine black market all over yeah. the world. Yeah. And, you know, it's not... It's, we, the, you know, the, the, the so-called war on drugs is not working. OK. Alcohol, obviously a big issue. Purchase age, what yeah. should it be? Well, again, the Green Caucus is still debating it. My mm. personal view is I wouldn't change it because mm. I don't think age is the issue. I think the issue is advertising sure. and marketing and the price. And okay. I think, I think well, that's a huge issue. Well, I guess price is uh, an issue that a lot of students are quite concerned about because Fair you know, enough. a lot of students are on lower incomes and appreciate some of the bargains they get from the supermarket. Yeah. Do you want to take those bargains away? I guess so. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, I, guess, I guess that, I mean, I don't want to take anything away from students, but, um, but I don't think that alcohol being a cheap drug is a particularly um, efficacious thing for a society. But the deeper issue is, why do we, and I don't, think it's, I don't think it should be blamed on young people, I think we've got this huge problem with alcohol in our society, whereby, and I think it's because that there's this fancy term called lack of psychosocial integration, <laughs> which I don't know what the hell that means, but what I think it means is we're lonely, we're alienated, and we don't know how to be a community anymore, so let's get out of it because that's a good substitute. Yay. Okay, what about um, gay marriage? Well, why would that be an issue? Um, well, it's, a, it's, a, it's not legal at the moment. It should uh, be. Um, so, what's the yeah. Green Party position? Yeah, we're into it. I mean, we're into it, what? and we, yeah, we, we believe, of course, that, that people should have the, that's a human right for people who want to marry to marry. I mean, I personally, um, I can't imagine why. I don't, I don't, I'm not a big fan of, of formal marriage myself. I live in sin very happily. But um, I don't have much time for sin, actually, because I'm a politician and all we do is <laughs> travel around. But if people want to get married and have their status of their committed relationship recognised, of course they should be able to. And um, I mean, I know a lot of um, heterosexuals who are doing civil union now. Because, see, there's a lot of patriarchal barriers. Don't get me started. Don't let me do this, Bryce. OK. <laughs> Any other questions from the audience that don't, reg uh, that don't relate to uh, patriarchy? Uh, Andrew, you've got another question. Just uh, another point. Like, how would you respond like, to like, thinkers on the right, like Ayn Rand or Ayan Hirsi Ali? So, like, like they claim to be standing for freedom, but they also kind of like advocate like a very individualist view of society. And Ayan Hirsi Ali, like she says that she's a, a feminist, but she but she's also very critical of Islam, which she regards as backward. Like, how would you respond to those? Uh, That's a difficult one. But Two big questions can, in there. Can, can you answer that in 30 seconds? <laughs> There's your challenge. These right-wing thinkers are sad, deluded, passe, and irrelevant to the real challenges in our world. 
And as for um, for attacking Islam, Islam is not necessarily connected with the discrimination against women any more than Christianity is. What I see is patriarchal churches of all creeds tend to oppress women. Yes. Okay, so I, I take it you're not religious yourself? Oh, I'm a... I'm a um, Agnostic, because you just never know what's going to happen. Okay. <laughs> now, Nikki, did you have another question? Yeah, there's not much happening on the Twitter sphere other than a couple of comments about the Bryce Edwards conspiracy. But um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just jealous, Bryce. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was just wondering what you think the Greens will need to do to get over 10%, because it mm -hmm. seems to me that like they there's so much potential there. There's a lot, you know, the Green ideas aren't rejected in the same way they mm. were in the 90s, and yet. You're still hovering around 8%. doesn't really look like you're going to be able to get it this time. I mean, what would the Greens need well, to do? Well, I don't know. I mean, our polling is more sustained up at 10% at the moment than it's ever been. And, I mean, we've been through the cycle each election where we look good and then drop back a bit. And so even if we drop back a bit, this, I think we're going to do better than we've done before. But, but what's holding you back from being 15%? Or... Well, we live in a conservative country that doesn't want to face quite a lot of issues. I think that it's a slow evolution towards um, recognition that what we're saying is... is, is yeah, yeah, media bias is a, is a good one. I, I don't think we get the, the airspace that our policies uh, should get. And I don't think we... I mean, the whole country is debating groin strain at the moment when actually, you know, the 1,000 people got arrested on, on Wall Street. Like, we don't have debates around the issues that, that we're passionate about. So I think it's happening. It's just you've got to be patient, you know, and we've got to keep working and we've got to keep reaching out to a range of communities and be credible, be principled and actually con convince people that we've got the ideas. But it strikes me at this election, uh, the Greens have probably got their best chance of getting above 10%, yep, yep, um, particularly sense. because of the kind of demise of Labour, their performance issues. Um, so, I mean, this com comes back to the whole era, um, the, the issue of coalitions, I guess, because mm. um, the Greens are in their best position ever, I think, for having some leverage over the major parties. But I, I, I kind of sense you're not quite so keen to talk about this possible national coalition. Well, or, leverage but, is a good um, word. Yeah, leverage is a good word. I think yeah. that's... So is that really what the, the new um, stance of the Green Party is about? It's leverage to... Well, I think of... MMP is about making the most... I mean, we're the most creative party in Parliament for actually breaking the mould. So we managed, without giving them power to govern, yeah. we have managed to achieve... it. We, we achieved a lot with Labour without actually yeah. go, going into coalition. We had people like Sue um, Bradford and Jeanette mm. achieving a lot. Mm. And with National, we've had the MOUs, we've been able to achieve a but, lot. I know you don't want to talk about warm, healthy housing, but I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm doing yeah, stuff you, You've done lots of toxics things. Toxics with, yeah. with, with... But Netflix. doesn't that worry you that you And they're not giving them power to govern, and it but shows you're giving you can't them, do that. you're giving them credibility. They always say, oh, look, the Greens support us on all these things. We're working with the Greens. We've got their economic stamp of approval. We're a Green government. Oh, I don't uh, think they really get away with that with anybody. I don't think anyone believes that well, we give them economic good. approval. It looks good for National being able to work with a Green well, Party. Well, it, look it looks good for them, but I think that we're, the gains on the ground is it looks better for us, that we've actually Probably, got some yeah. gains. I'd agree with that. Not uh, that we are with them, but that we've managed to make a government that we're not prepared to vote for at all okay. to actually get some stuff done. Okay. So I but think that's a, quite a creative approach. Sure. And I, I mean, I'm, I'm not a fan for having hundreds of these arrangements. Yeah. I think that, that if, you, if, there's a, if there's too many of them, then you do, do give too much credibility okay. to a government that you basically are in opposition so, to. So given that the Greens have said that they are unlike, highly unlikely to highly. go on... <laughs> highly. <laughs> you want to emphasize the highly, I Yes, think. I do. Um, in fact, I was a, I was a bit surprised to see that um, the original motion that went to the conference was extremely unlikely and then the conference decided to make it highly unlikely which is a lesser form. So it seems like there is some... It's a broad greens. church for us. Yeah. It's a broad church and we're very democratic. I don't know what any other political party that would debate the words extremely and highly for like <laughs> okay. quite a long time. Well, you know? okay. <laughs> so, so you've got to hand it to the Green members, they are engaged. I don't know if you've, don't know if you've seen the latest um, <laughs> stock launched by iPredict, you know, the online. Yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah. They're, so. they're, they're, launched the stock which tries to ascertain people's um, analysis on what's the likelihood of uh, one of the Green MPs being a minister after the November 26 election. When I looked at it before I came here, it was 19%. So those people that are putting money on it say there's a 19% chance of, of uh, Materia Toure or Russell Norman or whoever being a minister in the next government. That's I quite high. I don't know. My life's too short for I predict. I mean, I really don't <laughs> yeah. get off on that kind of nonsense. Okay, okay. But nonetheless, I don't believe it. some people are obviously thinking that there's a, a decent sort of chance that the Greens will Everyone's go got and, their own agenda yeah. with that, you sure. know? Yeah. So, if it happened, which it sounds like you could be unhappy with, would you would you resign from Parliament if the Greens did support a national government? Yes. You'd resign from Parliament? Yes. 
Okay, that's but I mean, when you say support, gutsy. going into a formal... Well, going having a minister in government. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's... that's. I mean, it, I don't think it's going to happen, so I don't think yeah, I'm going to have to ask myself that question. I don't see why the Greens would. OK. Because we, we're not stupid. We've seen what happened to the Māori Party, and we know... And it's happened to that, a number of parties. Yeah, it has. New it's Zealand happened to first, Alliance, didn't have a great Alliance, time with no, Labour. Right. So I don't think that those issues... And are, in the UK at the moment, Liberal yeah, Democrats. Yeah. But all these yeah. parties have sort of, before they've gone into the election, sort of said, oh, no, it's unlikely to various degrees and then their voters have been quite surprised when it's actually happened. Well, so. I, I, I have faith in our members. We have a special general meeting where our members will make the decision, and I think that our members are quite yeah. a visionary bunch of people, as well as our caucus, because okay. our caucus aren't slow either. So I don't think that we're going to suddenly turn into the Lib Dems and start throwing away the good work that we've done um, for, for, to get eaten okay. by a larger party. I think but that's highly unlikely. You must, have been in, you must have been surprised to see this poll result last week that 60% of Green supporters, I think it was, or something, um, yeah. would uh, approve of a Green National Coalition. Well, that was I, quite interesting. I don't it? think you can ever underestimate the way in which the media has manipulated people in this country. Right. You know, I don't think that represents the Green vote. Right. I think it represents people who got asked a particular question, and I, I mean. We are experiencing a very weird time in this country where I don't think people love the national government, but for some reason they love John. So, you know, explain okay. that to me. Explain either of those things to me. I don't understand that poll at all. Okay, we're going to have to wind up in a minute, but I think we've got a question from the floor, a final one. Oh, I just had a comment. I predict doesn't know how the Green Party membership works. That's right. That's yeah. right. The, yeah. the um, poll that TV3 did only shows the voter response. It doesn't show the Greens membership who, mm, through right. the SGM, yeah. make the decision on behalf yeah. of the party. Yeah, yeah. All it does is it proves that a you know, if they yeah. poll a thousand people out there, a certain group of them think this way, not the actual memberships who make but the decision. But nonetheless, the people that are voting the Greens in seem to not be totally repelled by this idea of the Greens going with the right-wing party into coalition. Well, which... then they should sign up as a member and vote at the SGM. <laughs> <laughs> OK, very good advice. have to there. fight with me. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so any last-minute predictions for what's going to happen in the election? The Māori Party, in or out? How many seats? Uh, I think they'll only. I think they'll be in with a couple of seats. Two seats? Maybe three. Yeah. Mana? Um, one. <laughs> so your friend Angelo Greenstill's not going to? I don't. I think it's just too late for building the machine. I mean, I think okay. just to get out there with the billboards and the leaflets. I hope they do well. I mean, I like all these people, but Labour. Um, How badly are they going to do? Oh, I don't know. I don't think they'll do as badly as as might be predicted. I'm not much one one for numbers. I think that I think that Labour are going to go down, but not collapse. Okay. I mean, National at what 58 percent? Isn't that incredible in the polls? Well, Any chance of them getting anything like that? Disturbing. Yeah. I don't think they'll get that many. I think when it comes to it, but I, I do think that the, that and the, I think they're going to be comfortable. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'd love to be an optimist and yeah. say that we're going to get rid of the national government, but like, you know, there is a trend. It's just going to take time. We will get rid of them, people. It won't happen overnight, but it will happen. Okay. Well, thanks, Catherine, and um, good luck with the campaign. Thank you.